So I'm back from my trip and we have so much to talk about. I mean these crazy new wheels, a new goal explosion, a change to RLCS reward drops. There's seriously a ton of awesome stuff to go over. All right, guys. So yes, for today's video, we are going to go through a ton of different stuff, ton of news things, and then also finish off the video with just some freestyles and talk about RCS. Just discuss with you guys before today's video. First of all, this is kind of the order of the things we're going to go through in this video. First of all, we're going to go through the brand new goal explosion that a lot of people are going to be getting for free. And then after that, the changes to the RLCS reward drops for this weekend for the RLCS event, and then get into some crazy new wheels and also another customization that is coming very very soon and they're actually some very unique wheels that are kind of cooler than exotics and then again finish it off with some freestyles maybe some 1v1 gameplay and just talk about some interesting things with like rlcs but yeah guys as always if you enjoyed today's video be sure to hit that like button down below and without further ado let's jump into it here all right guys so starting it out with the goal explosion you might already kind of know what i'm talking about here it was first brought up a couple of days ago by psionics but even if you have heard about it there's some new interesting news about when you're actually going to be able to get it because it's a lot earlier than they first announced but yeah first of all the goal explosion itself is the one with the batmobile we talked about this one before and we never really thought it would be coming into the game so maybe we had something to do with that but as you can see in this picture here is the batmobile goal explosion and we also have a video we'll go through real quick but yeah as you can see it has that typical explosion then with the batman symbol in the middle and it also looks like it has the vampire bats effect kind of flying around it and now obviously this looks very very sick and it looks even better in the little gif for GIF that showcases exactly how it looks like again you see that Batman symbol the bats flying around it and just the explosion itself looks really sick and then real quick comparing it to the original it is completely custom it's not the same as in the Batman trailer and uh, again it has that kind of vampire bats effect completely added to it now obviously how are you going to be able to get this they told us that everybody who has the Batman DLC already is going to have this unlocked and then of course if you don't have the Batmobile DLC you're simply going to have to buy it if you want to use this goal explosion now obviously that's kind of a little bit of a cash grab. People who do not have the Batmobile are obviously going to have a bigger incentive to buy it now that there is a goal explosion with it. But hey, if you're like me, the Batmobile is a sick car, you already have it, you're going to be getting this as well. Now also, two important things about this. First of all, you cannot use this on any other car besides the Batmobile. They were very clear about that and that is something I was wondering as soon as I heard this. But right at the page they say, note the Batman goal explosion is only equipable when driving the Batmobile vehicle itself during a match. You will not be able to equip the Batman goal explosion explosion to any other battle car. So yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Don't really know why it seems really quite pointless to me, but hey, it's still a cool explosion. Now as for the release date, it's actually today. So depending on when you're watching this, you might already have it, but it's supposed to be at 6 p.m. EST with the V1.39 update, which I think is more of a bug fix update and might just take away things like the Haunted Hollows event. But yeah, that is when you're going to be able to get this explosion. And then one last thing with that, does this also mean that the DeLorean is going to get like a back to the future? future type goal explosion in the future. Seriously, I definitely think so. Maybe in like a month or two, they're going to do the same thing for the DeLorean. Because if it can make Psyonix money, I definitely think they're going to do it. And there's really nothing wrong with that. And it could actually be pretty cool. But moving on here to the second piece of news, which is pretty crazy. And it has to do with RLCS and more importantly, the rewards, the beautiful, beautiful rewards that everybody wants. So yeah, we're not going to talk much about RLCS. There's not really anything new there, but there is something new with the fan rewards. Yes, they are coming back for the world championship but instead of just being the normal type of rewards you're going to have double the chance of getting painted fan rewards that is right guys double the chance of getting titanium white apex and it's kind of funny they actually said in the new stuff if you've been chasing those elusive titanium white apex wheels this is a great weekend to tune in so yeah double the chances of titanium white apex is still pretty bad for chances <laughs> but just getting painted stuff in general is going to be pretty great so again if you don't know what times the rlcs is at it is is first on Friday and these are all starting at 9 a.m. PST or 12 p.m. EST but it goes from Friday then Saturday and then finally Sunday. So if you want double the chances of getting painted items tune in for those streams on twitch.tv or you can just check out my site rlplace.com if you want to have an easier way to just go to the login page and then go to twitch and make sure everything's good to go there. But moving on here to the final piece of news and this personally is the thing I'm most excited for because there's some items that are really quite cool and completely different from 
not items we've had in the past like at all. Like as I said, they're kind of like exotic wheels that you can get through a different way. And I believe they're animated and completely unique. And again, I just kind of think they're actually pretty sick. But anyways, with these items, they are coming with a refreshed version of the Rocket League Collector's Edition, which Sonic says will start rolling out to retail stores next week. Now with this new revamped Collector's Edition, they've added a couple of new items because they are now in partnership with their new distributor, Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment. So being that they are working with Warner Bros., they're including a couple new items, and the first of which are these crazy Barry Allen Flash-inspired wheels. So yeah guys, as you can see, and unfortunately we don't have a video as of yet, but you can tell quite a bit that they are actually kind of cool. Like here's another picture, but just glancing at both of the cars and the different wheels they have on them, not only do they have the Flash symbol and this seemingly glowing bright red and yellow, and then also they have a cool yellow line down the center of the tread, but also if you take a look, especially at the Octane on the left, take a look at the front wheel and you'll see that they have lightning around the wheels. Now then if we go back to the first image, you can see that the lightning clearly changes. So what we can guess from that is that these are animated with like a lightning effect that kind of sparks around the wheels themselves. Now obviously it's not like Voltaics where the lightning is controlled like in the center of the wheel. These clearly look like the lightning surrounds like the entirety of the wheel itself. So actually it's kind of very similar to the lightning boost which kind of creates sparks around the back wheels already and that honestly would be really sick with these wheels. You could create an entire lightning themed car and especially with the lightning trail behind the wheels as well. But yeah on top of that they also have some yellow on the inside of the wheels which honestly I like quite a bit. Now as for the other items they're not big. I believe they're just these two special titles which are cool if you're a fan of DC or if you're a fan of Flash. I mean why wouldn't you want some extra titles to mess around with. But yeah again going back to how you're going to get these because I don't think the Xbox edition has the collector's edition. Well actually it does now that I think about it but it's kind of confusing because the DLC comes with the original version for Xbox so I don't know why you would buy the collector's edition. But they do then go on to say note that there will be a future opportunity for existing digital and collector's edition owners to purchase the Flash and DC Comics content in 2018. Now does that mean we have to wait until next year to get these just as like a DLC pack? I'm thinking that's what it means but if you want to get these before that you have to buy an entire new edition of the game? Seems a little odd but then they also do say that the collector's edition will hit store shelves as early as November 14th, same date as the Switch version and will be $29.99. So yeah if you're planning on buying this just for the wheels, I mean to each their own but I don't really think it's going to be worth it. But hey we'll definitely get more news in the future and they do say that there will be an extra way of getting these in 2018. But moving on here, let's do uh, let's do some gameplay and talk about some things. There's some funny things I want to talk about like with RLCS and also just where I've kind of been the last week or so. And we're going to be talking over that while doing some training freestyles because I have not played Rocket League in a while and I am pretty freaking rusty. So yeah, I'll also post this uh, training pack at the end of the video because I know a lot of you wanted to see it. That was kind of surprising to me. I didn't know you guys would be that interested in my training pack that I created just completely randomly. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be at the end of the video if you want to try some of the these weird freaking freestyles at these weird weird angles. But yeah, some of the things I wanted to talk about was first, this uh this last week, I haven't actually been home. Well, I'm home now, but like uh over the weekend and stuff, I haven't been home because I was actually visiting the squad back in Minnesota. Can I get the Oh gosh, that would actually be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I've been visiting the squad in Minnesota. And again, if you don't know, the squad, we all know each other in real life. Speedo, bad kids, Epic Llama, Pan Man. We all know each other ever since uh, middle school. We've been friends ever since then, knew each other in real life, and then just kind of started playing online now that we're in college and stuff and not always around to hang out with each other. But that is where I was at, kind of just visiting, just having fun. And I didn't do a vlog because, I don't know, I just kind of didn't feel like it. I just kind of wanted to enjoy it. And also, you guys know I've been having this weird, like, chronic sore throat issue, which I've gotten checked out a bunch. And I don't know if it's just, like, somehow misusing my voice or if it's, I don't know, acid reflux or something like that. But it's just been a little bit annoying and I haven't really... I didn't really want to push it that much by trying to record a vlog and, like, talk to the camera while I'm in an airplane or some Casey Neistat type stuff. But this shot right here, check it out, watch this, watch this. Go up to the ceiling, drop down, boom it, right there called it. I love this spot. I talked about it in my uh, how to get the white car that I'm using right now. If you haven't seen that video, check it out on the channel. But now that we've hit that, moving on to a, uh, another spot. Let's do um, let's do this one. This one's fun. Kind of challenging though because it's 
Makes it go to the ceiling. You gotta go to the ceiling and mess it up and freaking hit it straight into the floor. But the other thing I wanted to talk about is I'm probably gonna be messing this up. Again, super rusty, but I wanted to talk about RLCS, RLCS 4. Can't believe it's actually like next weekend. And I know a lot of you were wondering if I was going and the answer to that is uh, a no, a big no. <laughs> it's not that I don't wanna go, I definitely do and I've I thought about it a lot, but it's just, it's so hard. Again, my sore throat just freaking, it hurts now trying to do this commentary. It's just not been fun. Wouldn't be fun to try and talk over people at a huge event. And also just RLCS is really hard to plan. Like not only do you have to buy the ticket, which was like 60, 80 bucks. You also have to plan a hotel for three days, which like minimum 120-ish a night. That's gonna add up quickly. And on top of that, you also have to buy a car. So <laughs> all of that money, it, I mean, it would still have been worth it just because it would have been a fun thing to do. But just not having anybody to go with, not anybody to, like share the room with. The squad didn't really want to go because we were already hanging out in Minnesota. It was just like, eh, I don't really feel like it. It's just so much stuff. The only reason I really kind of wanted to go is to get the wheels. And even then, I don't really know if I'm behind the wheels that much. I kind of like the Decenium Pros a lot more. Just because they have, they're more special. They have the gold effect. They're the first, like, specialized RLCS wheel. But the new ones, even though they're blue and white and look sick, they don't have any of that. And uh, let me know what you guys think about it. We talked about it in the other video where we kind of just showcase them. And if you haven't seen them, check out the video again. <laughs> Link somewhere. Probably, I don't know. It's on the channel somewhere. But yeah, I think they're sick. And I'm going to try and maybe buy them. But as of right now... Don't really know. And that is why I'm not going to RLCS. Wanted to let you guys know in case you were wondering if I was going. But the answer is uh, no, I'm not. But anyways, guys, that's kind of all I have the energy to talk about right now. Again, the sore throat. Trying to get it figured out. But it sucks. It freaking sucks so much. So yeah, guys, leave a like down below if you enjoyed. I really hope you did enjoy the video. And be sure to check out my previous ones. Subscribe if you're new for more news. Check out my previous videos here. An epic pro goals montage of the latest pro goals that have been going on in RLCS. And then a top 10 saves on the right. But other than that, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm the Lamaser, and I will see you guys next time.